Hello, welcome to lesson six. Um, lesson six is um, continues the conversation about freedom. Um, the specific uh, topic today is this freedom of expression, and expression goes goes much more beyond just the traditional thought of freedom of speech. It also includes freedom of action uh, and freedom of thought. Uh, as we introduce the, the concepts in lesson number five. Uh, this lesson, uh, we need to look at those, those instructor notes, the lesson notes, uh, again, include um, uh, a key terms, the outline and objectives for the lesson, as well as um, assignments. The assignments for this lesson are a tad bit different, um, so we need to pay attention. Of course, we'll be reading chapter six out of your textbook. We have six uh, internet-based readings that highlight some of the difficulties uh, of, of this topic of freedom of express, expression and, and limitations thereof. We also have three videos that um, introduce the idea of a variety of, of videos one video asks, what is freedom of expression? Another one is, is a TED video that discusses um, the freedom of the internet. And the internet was, was based on ideals of freedom and free speech, and that everyone is treated equally, and, and how that seems to be under attack uh, the past couple of years. And finally, another TED video on um, a, 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 a woman from Saudi Arabia who dared to drive a car and her story. We have a Lesson 6 discussion board on free speech, uh, and I actually include um, a, a study of a Canadian pastor who was charged with a hate crime in Canada due to a letter he published that strongly criticized homosexuality. And inside of the lesson uh, discussion board, you can click on the blue letter link and actually read the letter um, that, that resulted in the criminal charge that was later dropped, but it, it does bring up a significant um, um, conversation. And I hope it brings up significant conversation on the discussion boards. We have a lesson number six journal, and uh, this journal is very similar to your, to your lesson num number five quiz activity where we will be using a matrix to help you think about your processes. I actually created another screencast that describes this uh, particular journal number six approach. You will be using your, your five journal uh, or your five resources, affirmative or pro resources that support your ethical quandary. Make sure to have those handy. You will need those when you complete this matrix. And at the end of the matrix, I will ask you to um, consider your five sources in, in a really big picture, a cumulative view. And what do they say uh, when we uh, look at these collectively? Again, I created a, a four minute screencast to help you get started. You will find it inside of the listen folder, okay? as well as the new link for the ethics course project matrix. Finally, last but not least, is the Lesson 6, Chapter 6 quiz. This quiz is a little bit different. It's open book, open resources, no time limits. You can go back into Blackboard anytime you want to and hit submit. Uh, but we will be looking at page 106 in your textbook. Uh, it's the free speech for neo Nazis case study. And I will be asking you to answer the four questions on page 106 for your quiz questions. Um, and you will be submitting your answers online via the quiz interface. In the meantime, let me know what, what questions you, you may have, and I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, this is one of those lessons you do not want to wait until the last moment, and if you have questions or concerns, please let me know. And I'm looking for answers that go beyond I agree or good job or one or two sentences. We're looking for some pretty deep thought and in comparison of the circumstance to the ethical theories and topics and material that we are covering. And I'm, I'm also asking you to tell me what you think about this material and the processes. So unless you're willing to share 
and take a risk um, and and conduct some 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 real thought with the material, you're not going to do very well. Um, uh, so the the best way to, to get off to a good start and, and do the best you can is to to, to shoot me uh, some questions, uh, uh, emails, phone calls, those type of things, so I can help you if those exist. Uh, thanks so much. Bye.